welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to Beer Talk 217. Don't be so happy, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. I'm just, I'm looking, I, I finally, well, just go on with this thing and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, as per usual, uh, leave us a like and subscribe. Uh, uh, that helps out a great deal. If you want a guaranteed answer to your uh, question and or topic and or uh, super chat us and uh, keeps the lights on, quite literally. And uh, go support Skinny Play. I'll pop the links in chat in a second. And yeah, that should be about it. Plenty for today. Anyway, uh, who's supreme today? <laughs> Fuck. Why? I, I, I don't have whatever. It's just, I like the red color. I just don't like the big, fat, chunky Supreme on it. If I could take that color, the logo out, I would buy it. But have you like uh, any of you have any experience with the Supreme brand except the Bang Olsen kind of or something like that? No, I never knew that even existed till the bloody the what was the first thing the p2 came out all slathered with the supreme on it the no, little Bluetooth since bar i'm soap. in the school environment with students especially teenagers and all that many yeah. of them have the exact same print that on the t-shirts i was like bang olsen and your t-shirt the same are, are you liking bang olsen but no 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 it's yeah got to discover that it's a whole nother thing yeah i have no idea what the hell Eric, since you're the about... youngest, could you actually tell us what it does? What is Supreme about Supreme? <laughs> the only thing I, you know, the, the the teenagers and I have been talking, and uh, they <laughs> told me, and I they have a good discussion. No, something to do with this, something called skateboarding, or I think it's just more clothing. Clothing in isn't it just like a specific? conglomerate of a whole bunch of brands that they put that shit on it, basically. <laughs> Like, Basically, it's just a, ba a brand that collaborates with other brands to make it even cooler. So if it's Nike shoes and Supreme, then it's super cool. If you do but, something else, but yeah. but Supreme isn't that a part of Louis Vuitton? There have been probably with that too. We're so yeah, old, nobody kind of knows. <laughs> I think I think Supreme is part of Louis Vuitton. They did it as a uh, they did it as a uh, a, a skateboarding uh thing and it went viral so everybody wants the supreme stuff and it's all the the bags is red as you see the the yeah. the explodes and uh, then with the big letter supreme on it apparently bno but, did work with them before because they had a h4 yeah. mark one supreme <laughs> the a2 even yeah and we totally really? missed that. that back hey eh? i missed yes, that completely i didn't know 10 years yeah but how old is the brand? Because for me, oh, this, apparently it's, it's part of Vans cool. Group, the the the, the Vans yeah. shoes and things. So this because I was like thinking, oh, when I you know skateboard back in the day, I was actually the Tony Hawk kind of pro skater game era. That's the closest I get to it. And <laughs> I, I remember the kind of brands that the shoes fiber make your favorite kind of skateboard brand. But there was like Toy Machine or flip and something called bird or something it, that's the brand supreme, I know, but. supreme is an american clothing and skateboarding lifestyle brand established in the new york city in april 1994. oh 94 okay yeah that's... supreme okay. is a brand that is popular in china japan europe and us They're everywhere so, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and i guess since since they said china first that's probably why it could make it's sense popular yeah yeah and why Bowles and collaborate with them so they can make sales over there. Yeah. They make clothing, shoes, accessories, and skateboards. I like the skateboard thing comes very late in the description. Yeah. So clothing for me, for me, it's just a white t-shirt with it. In that 2018, red. Supreme was awarded the Something Designers of Americans Menswear Designer Award. Collaboration. Who cares? Nobody knows. Filmography? Why? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they they do a lot of stuff. Uh, I thought but, I thought it was like a. But if you look at the top brand, the, the what's it called now again? The can shaped. Explorer. Okay. Yeah. 
it really looks like a Coca Cola can. Oh, <laughs> I called it an explode, does. didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it didn't oh, hurt you. Sony explodes, bro. Those are headphones, man. You got your old. <laughs> my my you got bad. Your own. I'll get lynched in the chat in a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's illegal, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, I quick comment on please. BNO itself. Uh, BNO, uh, like what the hell? Uh, it's it's on your uh, website for the people that follow along. Uh, you go to discover, and then you can't click it. They, like none of them are the supreme ones. That's like being in the app that you can't even choose your own product in the, in the right color. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, it's not it's not new, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's they like were working on their their fonts and shit. Uh, if you do something, I mean the clock thing the was on there. Right? I mean, yeah. this is the tiniest bit of info that you find on the whole Supreme on the Explore bit. It's like this little thingy down here. Well, it's not the first time their website doesn't work as it should be. You remember the the Chinese when we were logging into the Chinese. Uh, region and yeah, it was a whole another thing there. So yeah, don't blame them. Maybe we'll sort it out in a few days. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, but it's on the main maybe. website. It's literally the second maybe uh, when they watch start this page. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to give oh, you a bunch really. of work uh, on the weekend, but surely if you launch uh, some collaboration, uh... I think Bang Olsen at the Monday start meeting, watch our episode or this episode. And it's like, so what are we going to do today? What we are we going to have to fix? And it's like, oh, let's Michael. Make, and let, let's we... make the link work today, should we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they call me on time. Okay, we'll fix that. <laughs> Michael and Michael and Michael and something called Jensen. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, right. yeah, but besides everything else, nothing's changed. It's just red or black with Supreme printed on it. Pretty... Can you maybe Google? It's probably got a little more bass. Uh, Google a picture of the A2 speaker with the Supreme. Uh, because that was very early in the kind of Supreme collaboration. And I can't remember since like 2000, 2012, 13, but almost 10 years ago now. So, what the first collaboration with them? Uh, yeah. Feels bad. I should have deauthenticated it. It, it my freaking Nest thermostat from the gateway before I moved it all. Yeah, that's the portal, or what do you call it? It doesn't want to re let me remove the bastard. A two. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. So there's. Yeah, this... but you see, even this product again, not even the product that I meant. <laughs> they still have did did a collaboration with the Supreme, so yeah. I thought this was the first one. That was my first no, experience with it. A, the A2, you know, also the thin one, portable, but A2, that was very early on, they did a Supreme. Was so it Bio Sound or Bio Play at the time? Bio Play, Bio Play. Right? yeah, yeah. The kind of the whole Bio Play first era. Uh... I think they did. That's what kind of... What I'm thinking, I think they did collaboration with them. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. It doesn't look right, right? <laughs> Why is it? Jesus, this is expensive. <laughs> How much is it? They, Holy crap. They want 768 euro for it. Probably just because it says Supreme on there. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. The Pepsi ones uh, didn't. How much does B and O take of this, or are they just sort of upcharging for the other brand? And I actually oh. think that when it was new, it was the same price or something like that. So this is just secondhand market when someone thinks they can get it, I guess. But I don't know. Do you I mean, remember, the, Henrik? In terms of speaker, the A two is still a nice thing. It's just yeah. a bit old. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I've never been into these special collab things they've done oh. i couldn't care less um i'm not into this the supreme and willie don't quote me but i'm not really into the bellucci as well <laughs> <laughs> it's just you just had to go there didn't you <laughs> i just had to go there i mean it's 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 not for me i i i it's it's fine that they want to do it supreme does it with tivoli audio as well they do it with uh, all kinds of brains and i mean yeah. it's more like 
in my opinion today, it feels like that they will do a collab with just anybody. I mean, this is very much, you know, the bio play kind of products. They're they're kind of hipster, young, youth, urban. Get that kind of. Yeah, but but the buyers. hipsters, young people would never buy this. Maybe the Tivoli, but not this guy. Maybe. I don't think so. Well, maybe, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It, oh. it might as well. It it might sell. I mean, if they they have done it before, so it must be it has been a success since they are doing it again. So uh, or keep it, it might work. Doing it, yeah. Why would you keep on doing it if it doesn't work? Exactly. This is almost ten years of collaboration with different products all along, especially the Bio Play product, at least for those kinds of product. So yeah, I guess they, it works. Mm. No headphones, right? Just the very, very most portable speaker always. And then no, for and some, no, for some reason, I, I would never buy a red speakers anyway. So no, no they, because there's but they did the, the, the A9 the, is not supreme, right? No, they did the H4 Gen 1 or Mark 1. Yeah, yeah. I looked mm. up earlier. I mean, uh, but then again, with the H4 Mark One, everybody did a collab uh, with them. Didn't Pepsi do one too? Yeah, but that kind of you see, kind of that uh, that the brand that they are thinking of these kind of the, the most uh, cheap product that we make or most portable part product that we make. These we do the collaboration with this brand, not I mean, the more high end, I guess. When when I it's when Supreme I Supreme fifties, <laughs> oh, that's gonna. Be... <laughs> when I when I see the product that is on the the stream right now, um, if it didn't have a Bang and Olsen logo, I would think that it looks like something from AliExpress again. I'm yeah. sorry, it just does. It doesn't look great. It doesn't, it doesn't look. Supreme. It looks cheap. <laughs> It doesn't look supreme at all. <laughs> I mean, oh shit! I, I really, I really, I really don't dig it. No, this is too much of the red. Uh, I, I really I don't get done. this brand. What they do because oh, I do, I do, I do get the brand, and I think it's a genius thing that they're what they're doing because I mean, the whole marketing of of the supreme brand is amazing. But yeah, but isn't it, it all that? Isn't it just marketing, basically? It, it but just doesn't look rich good kid on, in on these products. Can wear that kind of just blank shirt with just the Supreme logo. That's just so simple. For some rich kids, can wear that brand. They can also just as easily buy the Bang Olsen product. It just so. doesn't look very exclusive or expensive when you put it on the the B and O product. Yeah. But I mean, but they always do this crazy shit, though. So. But I, I really, I really dig the when I some of the bags looks amazing, but a bit over the top. I do like the skateboards. I, I, I think those skateboards looks very, very cool. Um, but that's also yeah, yeah. very flashy stuff. Can you show some picture of the skateboard? Kids, because if they're kind of known for one thing, please let us see what, how they look. Or so. uh, let's see. How would you do a collaboration with wheelchairs? Uh, Skinny Play over on uh, Twitch asked, which brand would you like to be able to collaborate with? I guess it's an open question to everybody. Bose? No. <laughs> the the uh, ones the the one uh, the. Besides the two two times over to the the one with the case, that's the one I've been seeing uh, up, and then it's red. Uh, oh, it has a, it has a case. Yeah, you you were there. Yeah, exactly. I've seen that one, All right. and I've seen it on the wall uh, at a house on some special brackets, and that looked amazing in my opinion. Actually, if, if it, they're going to do a collaboration, I don't know, it's kind of hard to... Something that would have felt very natural would be some kind of Danish designer or something like that. Some Fritz Hansen or Louis Paulsen or, you know, those kind of 
brands, but if you're thinking about more like this or clothing, I don't know. What do you guys think? I just like the whole fucking thing, dude. I honestly, it's it's something that completely is a non-issue but to me. You, like I would never buy it. That, no, but if we have something, maybe you know, uh, Vitra or Herman Miller. That if you think something you like and something you think bang also would match with. I don't think Herman be. Miller would ever stoop that low to go with Supreme. No, no, but that's bang Olsen, just with Bang Olsen. What would Bang also match with? I don't know. In terms of Supreme, I, like I totally don't get the branding because it seems to be just marketing with stickers on it. But then again, if this is that popular, I really don't mind being out doing it because it's they the like, Supreme uh, logo apparently has a massive draw to it because I was talking indeed. to a dealer yeah. uh, who had Skinny Plays. Uh, uh, cover on it. Uh, the, the this is not supreme one. <laughs> I don't know if it still exists, but apparently that. But yeah, as I said, my teenagers, are, you know, they they're so over fanatic with you know just a blank white T-shirt with that uh, brand on it, and they can be very expensive. So, but again, they also are the products that are collaborating with Supreme are not the high end products. It is kind of the opposite. So it's more the most portable youth kind of the thing that they can actually buy a rich kid can actually as a first thing yeah. get this product I mean, but, yeah. my dealer was telling me like he had this cover uh, in in uh, his, his showroom and it drew yeah. uh, quite a few people especially younger people mm. that he didn't expect and it's the this is not supreme <laughs> but apparently it's so recognizable that it does has a, have a pull mm -hmm. so in that mm -hmm. case good on you uh I don't know, maybe we're too old or something. <laughs> I think that's the case of it that uh, I just we just I just don't understand. I'm not with the times of the youth anymore. Fuck it's hard to talk to these people to begin with anyways. <laughs> but compare this with the Baluti one that they actually did a Baluti A one speaker. That was like from the most top end, even the Bio Vision Harmony Bio Lab nineties to the Baluti A1. But the that thing, was like the whole but the thing about range. the the thing about the Baluti is that it looked subtle and in my opinion, and don't 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 ask this guy up there, uh, is that um, I I thought it looked exclusive. I think it looked expensive, and I think the collab was actually quite nice. I like the leather part in in especially in I the like harmony. That, I mean, yeah, I that dig that a lot. Cool. Yeah. I think it was very very nice. I don't mind that. It was elegantly expensive, but it was a little more expensive. Than it was elegant. stupid pricing. I agree with that. That was just a, that was just a, so a brain yeah. fart. But the yeah. the yeah. looks of it, the reddish leather stuff. I mean, it looked yeah. amazing in my opinion. I kind of like that look too. Yeah, and especially the the H ninety five. I think looked very nice. Yep, I, I wouldn't the, pay more than ten grand for the fucking no, no, panels. No, forget the price; it's just how it's for the nineties. The balance for once looked very. Exclusive. It's just the looks, Otherwise, Willie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I wouldn't pay more than ten Gs for like buying panels for the nineties, like a service part for mine, if I were to have a choice or an option. No, no, no. But I like the look of that leather. I just don't think that there, that that leather is worth a, a set of fifties. You know what I mean? No, no, no. But we're not talking price. We just talk no. looks. Look, yeah. the looks. Yeah, the, the looks are awesome. I agree with that. They should I have mean, made if, a supreme if, cover. For, if, if they the should have made a cover for the A9 from Berluti. If the Supreme Explode No Explore is the same price as the the Black Explore, I would buy the Black Explore all day long. Mm -hmm. Apparently the, the the Supreme Explorer is seventy euros more. Seventy? Yeah. So oh. it goes from what two hundred to two hundred and seventy to have Supreme on it. It's like a t shirt money. You have to I'll make the sticker for fifty euros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a sticker machine. He was certainly be fine for that, but yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> Fuck. Rather you than yeah, you can just print it basically. 
so uh yeah, yeah I, I i don't know it's uh i i really don't get it really that that's what what it is to me uh i don't particularly dislike it red is not my color i like classic bno uh i mean i think most of us more or less uh grew up in the david lewis era yeah and anything bold like that is kind of hard to swallow well, That's for me, even with David Lewis's era, was kind of hard to to go through, uh, like or understand because they had red speakers, gold speakers, right? Yeah, blue, like the dark yeah. blue. Like there were colors. They were crazy colors back then. Yeah, yeah, but they weren't fucked up like with these stupid logos and such. Like that's the only thing that I don't like about it that they're basically selling themselves out. But yeah. it kind of yeah, begin. Uh, I can't remember who designed the MX series of televisions I didn't think it wasn't uh, it wasn't David Lewis right maybe uh, the new one because that the, the back of or the, the covers for it also came in those kind of vibrant red blue you no know, colors and that kind of started it and in the mid 90s that those colors were very especially in the bill of 90s uh, uh, bill of nines and 8000s and B Vision 7 could be in this aluminium, very blue, gold, red tones. And even then, back in 97, the Bela or something, Bela Buns could be in like Magneta or Coral colors or whatever they came in. I mean, same for the A1. I don't like the writing on it. It just. No, I don't like the writing either. Am I mistaken, or did they have an A1 active for a bit with a massive B&O logo on it? I also didn't like that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there yeah. was one with the massive logo on it, and it was like offset, yeah, it wasn't active, even proper. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't like if, if, if they did the balance. I know they have the small B&O logo, Bang & Olsen logo, and on the Marvel one is probably crooked but i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't buy it if it was like all like this big all the way around just saying bang and olsen i would never buy it i want it to be subtle the finer brands the more expensive expensive brands are very subtle yes with their branding that's kind of the thing with it you don't show off with it if something is copied and you want kevin klein then it's just kevin klein all over then you know it's a fake. So that's it looks kind of fake. That's kind of why, at least I think all of us think it's just not very tasteful. I mean, this is B&O's own with B&O's own logo, which I like the logo of, but like I yeah. hate it on this speaker like this. It doesn't yep. need to be that big. Nope. It doesn't even need to be there. No. But uh, Less is more. This was the, the yeah. A, A1 second gen active or something. Active, and, yeah, I remember that. And supposedly it was a bit more water resistant. Supposedly. <laughs> but I it's see it's no, no Yeah, I see it's no longer on the website, so probably uh they thought, yeah, this is stupid. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. Yes. Yeah. I mean look look at the Bio Sound shape. That's a great example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, don't you want a tile oh, yeah. that says Berluti or Supreme on that? <laughs> I just want a massive willy on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that can be arranged. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. But we all do. <laughs> well, I don't care. It's my taste, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I get sued like Dua Lipa and shit for retweeting uh, a paparazzi's photo that he took from her <laughs> and he sued her. <laughs> Fuck. Well, yeah, there, there is that sort of weird uh, copyright on that's that sort so of nonsense too. It's so weird that, that actually, like, that's the thing. But on the bio shape we kind of... Uh... Topic. I saw a review of a magazine that does all the audio and video and all that picture. Uh, that this uh, newspaper is in uh, both Denmark, Nor uh, Norway, and Sweden, and they did a poll that asked their kind of readers which 
was the best soundbar. And I think uh, the JBL uh, was kind of top in Sweden then hey, then the States. Get the fuck out. I, I just <laughs> noticed this. I'm not, I'm not watching. I'm trying to get my gateway done, you bastard. Get the fuck away from here. <laughs> oh, I mean, no way. I think, I think Skinny Play should do a whole collection. The Willy collection. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would just be amazing. That one I actually like. That one I would take. <laughs> the elegance. That, that one means a lot, man. That was the first time in Denmark in the factory. It was awesome. It was one of the very memorable moments. But yeah, yeah that piano, uh, piano has been in yeah many by Olsen. Shit background. There was story. a guy that was there with us from Vancouver that actually walked up to it and played it, and he played really good piano actually. It sounded nice in there. Cool. Well, I uh, cannot delete the goddamn thermostat from my gateway, dude. I got it all set up yesterday. Oh no, this is an. I'm nice gonna ask uh, Skinny Play to edit your T-shirt and make it say Supreme. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! You fucker! It got the color. <laughs> Shit! I know that's the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Instagram down. The promo code that's in chat also works for these covers if you want a custom Willy cover. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leave that shit alone, bro. If I ever get the A9, I will, of course, do a Willy cover for it. I will send you a picture of myself behind the palm trees in a week. How about that? Then you can post yeah. that on some. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to post it on my own Instagram. So... Yeah, this just feels bad, bro. I can't freaking. Can we talk a little bit about the? Uh... No. First of all, I will I will <laughs> ask Michael if he has tried his two strumming and then quickly pass over to Hendrix video about uh, the C ones uh, when he uh, did the. No, food. I haven't eaten the two strumming yet. No, I don't no, want to no. die yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the next place <laughs> to ruin. It's Take probably it the... got good by now. Bring it, to America with you. Bring it to Florida. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have and that fucking explode in the airplane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in that heat. Ugh. Oh, dude. There has been a lot of new content when it, when we talk about Bang Awesome, especially from Steve and also Henrik. So last time we had Steve on the podcast. Now Henrik is with us, so... Henrik, how was it to meet uh, to met Steve and what did you do? I I, I, I didn't see the last week's podcast because I was uh, busy, but uh, I hope that you had a good one. I hope Steve had some nice things to say, but I don't know. Maybe he said that he I was like a jackass. Really. Nobody knows. Well, at least I don't know. But uh, I had a good time, man. Steve was great. Uh, such a nice person. And I mean... It's it's very very it's not that often you you meet a person that is so polite as Steve. Yeah. I mean, I could swear all the time, and Steve was just like, "Yes, no, <laughs> of course," and I agree. I disagree. It was yeah. it was very very funny. Um, he's such a nice person. I mean, uh, and we had a we had a blast. We uh, of course, uh, if you saw the video, we we I picked him up. I chauffeured him around to um, to the BOTF diner where we had some Danish. Where did uh, you Where did you pick him up? Uh, in uh, BNO in Lyngby, uh, the yeah. HQ2 in Denmark, yeah. and um, I picked him up there uh, and uh, drove him to BNO in Hillerup, which is a very very beautiful store. And I uh, texted uh, Stee, who has the store, and asked him to pick up some food for me. So uh, so we could do some stupid stuff, Steve and I. And uh, we tasted uh, three open sandwiches uh, in, in Denmark. And um, it, 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 some of it was not that great. <laughs> some of it was okay. And some Very of it was great. Scandinavian uh, taste. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, the, the first thing was, was very, very bad. Herring, uh, I, it's not for me. Uh, and it, it wasn't supposed to be a herring, it was supposed to be something else, uh, something called uh, frigadelle, uh, which is a meatball, uh, yeah. but 
they were out and uh, all the Danes <laughs> the who watched stuff. it, <laughs> all the Danes who watched it was like, who the fuck runs out of Frigadelle in Denmark? I mean, it was just like, yeah, okay. So yeah, but we had a blast. It was it was so nice to meet him. And uh, when we were done in the store, we drove to. I was supposed to set him off at the airport, but we had an hour to spare. So I actually took him down to the TV station and showed him uh, our studios and Studio, production yeah. rooms and stuff. Cool. Um, we had a summer party at the, the TV station the same day. So uh, it, it fitted very, very nice. And I dropped him off in the airport and yep. You got to meet all your co-workers when they were drunk? And no, no, no. Like the, 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 the party was one hour after he was at the airport. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But everything was right good. I mean, things, yeah. He uh, he got to ditch my stereo in my car and uh, everything was nice. In your defense, uh, you d you don't get that car for the speaker system, <laughs> especially when you have a natural aspirated V8. Yeah. Yeah. You can, but, dro uh, you can drone the, uh, the stereo out. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you can get it with a Burmeister system. Yeah, if you even. But. But I didn't do that. No. Yeah. It, it was a Bose. I got the same Bose system. Two of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hyundai and... Uh, Get out of here. That's instantly yeah. also, <laughs> incidentally also the sound it makes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that Porsche hasn't really joined the venture with uh, with BNO or at least Burmeister or somebody a little more high-end than... Oh, the other brands. Uh, they are, they are with Burmeister, I think. Yeah, are they now? But yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Burmeister is the top end. The middle one is the Bose, and they yeah. And then, then you, the the lowest one is just their own, I think. Yeah. Fucking one speaker in a center dash. No, no, no. I, <laughs> in, 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 AM radio in, and a tape deck. In, in the 911, I had the low end, uh, not even the Bose system. But for most people, they actually say that the, the Bose there is not that much expensive, but still people, I want something a little bit extra, but still... The, the, their original, the, their own kind of brand is kind of not that far off. The Burmeister is extremely mm. well for the car, but still. So, uh, but that's kind of what they make money from. Uh, and you bought the car secondhand, right? Yeah. As did I, so. Yeah. But I mean, we, we, we had a great time. Uh, we when The store we went to actually had this uh, uh, bespoke edition of the front covers for the harmony uh, i posted a picture of it on my instagram i think uh but it was anthracite and dark oak Can and it looked, uh, michael maybe it looked amazing i mean i mean they should put that into production just as a standard and then leave some of the others out because yeah. that looked freaking amazing it was just like wow, and and Steve was also it 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 looked amazing. I mean, he was impressed. Yeah. It, it was very 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 good. It was very good looking, and uh, the guy from the store was saying, I think he said that I think that this will be the standard from now on because it looks so good. Um, That's good. Yeah. Wait, was it in your so stories many. or on your normal Instagram? Because I don't see it. I have no idea. Uh, when you post so many stupid things as I do, <laughs> um, it, it might just be a story. Uh, hang on. Or it might be on the... Because Danish. I see uh, gas prices and... Yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I, I, I actually, I, I filled it up twice today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Uh, hang on. It's... It's gone. <laughs> I don't know. I'll post it right now. Video vision. Yeah. <laughs> Harmony is spoke. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to call it um, hashtag Willy edition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But before you go into showing the picture, uh, how, can we, how did you come up with the idea of... You have something, you know, the Danish... Uh, food on bread how should we make the british person that make cables connect them with old diocese products 
<laughs> I, I don't know. I was it's hilarious. It was kind of a cool idea. I mean, I've Actually, I've been in a I've been very, very busy at work, um, which is also the reason why I haven't posted many videos. Uh, hopefully I will get back to that very soon. Uh, that's the plan. But I've been very, very busy. So the week before Steve came over here, I was like, Jesus, Steve is coming next week and I need to figure something out. So I was sitting in the couch with Heidi and it was just like, let's brainstorm. What are we going to do? <laughs> and then I was like, wouldn't it be fun to talk about the Danish open sandwiches and talk about the Danish names and translate them to to English, like the doctor's yeah. late night dinner? Yeah. And I thought, well, this is kind of fun. And then I was like, okay, so how do I get Steve to eat this? And how do we mix it up with B&O products? So then I was like, okay, I asked B&O for half a year ago when Steve actually mentioned he was coming over. And I asked yeah. him, could I borrow the store in Copenhagen? And my person that I call at B&O, who is my new contact, she didn't get back to me, which is kind of normal at this point. Yeah. Um, but uh, my my idea was that I want to borrow the store in Copenhagen and I wanted to get sushi, open sandwiches and something else. And then I would like him to taste all kind of different uh, type of food and then put it into <laughs> what kind of product do you think that uh, sushi is? What kind of product do you think the open sandwiches is and so on and so on and so on. But apparently she never get back to me, which she never does anymore. So I probably have to get a new PR guy um, because that kind of sucks. Um, so I was just like, okay. Then I called the dealer and I was just like, Steve, can you help me? And he was just like, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. I'll just uh, yeah. order some open sandwiches and you can have the whole store if you want to. Just, uh, just come by. And you don't spill anything. No, he, he was he was like, yeah, just just go, do whatever you want to. They're both Danish. They don't care. This. I mean, yeah. he, he's he's such a nice person, man. Yeah. And I mean, they they didn't have. I I called him. No, I texted him two days before Steve was supposed to meet up with me, and I said, I'm in a pickle. B and O doesn't get back to me. If I could borrow the store, can you help me out? And then he was just like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And then I wrote to him, can can you pick up some open sandwiches for me? Yeah, sure. What do you want? And then I wrote to him <laughs> what I wanted and he, he ordered it and it was there when we arrived. Was there any other kind of customer at the store at the same sure. time? Sure. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 from them? So, some of them was looking in because we were sitting in the main room and some of them was looking in and we were just sitting there eating, eating open sandwiches and no, having yeah, a talk. Can I also order some food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, it was so nice. I mean, Steve, what a what a gentleman. And also how actually he got the idea, as you said, the, the kind of idea of connecting speakers with the food brilliant, brilliantly. It was like the first one is like, how do you connect, you know, seal or herring? Yeah, with something he's, he, he pointed out very well, I've, and also kind of the TVs and the the last one also that yeah, very well. Yeah, the Biosound nine thousand, and then when he got the Danish Remoulade, oh, it's the it's the white aluminium edition. Yeah, it just, yeah. whatever that oh, word was, yeah. it seems like you're falling over in the middle of it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Remoulade. I, I think I think it's something. I think it's French. And then we stole yeah, it and we called it our own, I think. Well, in it's French, it's Remoulade. Remoulade. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, Remoulade, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's French. Probably yeah. some, some Viking came over to France and took it and stole it and raped something. And then and now it's ours. Like, eh, how do you see taste? It just, and the Danish was like, it's kind of taste. I was like, oh, I'm a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it. <laughs> I also love this shot, uh, Steve. This is provingly looking at 90s going like yeah yeah could yeah. do, do better <laughs> <laughs> but he did explain it very well and i got the same idea on the kind of favorite speaker at the moment because as i said also that you know 
if you look at 90s or 50s that they can produce a hell of a lot of power you mm. cannot expect it from them the the tiny slim 28s you don't get that feeling you get the same feeling from like 6000 back in the day it looks very thin and that, that also produced kind of what it actually looked like but the eight uh, the 28 is just like wow yeah, if, but, you, if you compare uh, them uh, to the fives and twenty eights, you don't think that they can reduce similar yeah. in sound, but yeah. And I and I do agree with Steve that uh, we need something that is not as expensive at the twenty eight, but with the new technology that you get in the twenty eight. And I yeah. totally agree with that. We need something like in the six thousand era uh, with the with the twenty eight technology. Uh, not of course as capable of the, as the 28s, but with the same platform and uh, maybe the same, some of the same hardware as well. I mean, it would be okay if you needed a subwoofer to get like a nice. It would be a tall system. speaker or a. Yeah, 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 yeah. And something in like the 6,000 or 8,000 or 18 maybe, speakers. Maybe, maybe, even, in... maybe even half the size of the 28s in height. And then with the same uh, like roundness as the 28, but not but without the subwoofer. I mean, yeah. it would so be. So you can nice. have that kind of speaker direction. And yeah, this but that's a balance, more or less. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, not really, but but if you think think of the, if you don't have the six and a half inch woofer, the six and a half inch inch woofer can produce that amount of power. Just think of. Bring it down to a, maybe a four-inch woofer and make it more compact. It can be something in maybe size from like an eighteen or something mm. like that, but half the size, or you know, you know, something like that. But uh, I think uh, that the balance has two five where... and a quarter inch woofers in it. Yeah, I mean, it just, and it's uh, it's crazy so... powerful. But yeah, like, I mean, put, yeah. If, put that in a they... longer chassis, and yeah. But a... if they if if yeah. they took, I mean, the balance fits one project, which is an an and a speaker in in a room that you can stream to. That is a standalone product. It's a bio sound product. We need a bio lab. Yeah, as you said, or whatever. You told him that why why not the balance? Because yes, yeah. it's like Michael said that you're talking about the balance, yeah. but yeah. You don't want the delay. In, no, in you want that, you yeah. want it as a build up speaker, but yeah. but in an in a nice case that would be nice, so it doesn't yeah. look like a vase. More, yeah, more premium feel to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, but all the, all the hardware is basically there. It has two Ethernet yeah. ports. It has everything. They just need to yeah. make it be your lab capable. Yeah, really. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if it's just the cable, but uh, yeah. yes. No capable, uh, as uh, in like yeah, the, yeah. The, if yeah. they, because there's not a heck of a lot of difference between the balance and the twenty eight in terms of function. But it, but the power link is, is the only difference, really. But the balance is 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 built the same way as the level. It's uh, it's, it's all these kind of uh, products that you can switch out to give them new things and new features and stuff. So you could actually put Vice into the balance. That would just fit just in, just right in. Yeah. If you like the stupid yeah. look of a balance as rear speakers or something. <laughs> well, they yeah, do need work. they do need to make some stands for them. That's for sure. But still, most I mean, in general, have... I think they should make some stands for them. But most people have a table for the TV that they put a TV on, like more, most people have, and. To put something on the side, like two balance, would actually fit most people. That would look okay. Yeah, I have to agree with that. If you if you have like these stupid benches in front of your TV, then okay, yeah. there there was a picture. <laughs> uh, if you have a bench in front of your TV, two balances will look good. I don't yeah. really like this setup. First no. of all, I hate all the cables. But <laughs> if if the TV was just a bit smaller. And then the balances was on the, the 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 table. In my opinion, that would look better. But I mean, kudos for thinking out of the box. If you if you're already uh, thinking of tripods, why just not A nines? <laughs> That's kind of yeah. Why well, don't have you have two A nines there? I think two A nines would look stupid as well. Yeah, it's dual stereo. If you're stupid one way, you're stupid another way. You're still stupid. You know, and get yeah. <laughs> 
I, I know, but look- like I, I like these sorts of stands. It, it just if B and O made them, they would match even better than this does because they would be purposely made for them. Even yeah, if you wanted think- just a speaker in a corner somewhere where there's yeah. nothing, like One it's stupid to have it on great, the ground. Yeah. Like B and O, please make something out of wood that goes yeah, with this something and then you can have yeah. it match the colors of the base make it black one black and one oak um, color it's more or less like an stb brackets request at this point because i don't think being well, going to bother with any of this know, balance stuff of roman pillar or something that would look i don't know like uh, i'm sure it sounds great but yeah. I, like if i were to go versus look i would probably end up with the black set of nines because 20s are too expensive for how much money this would cost like in uh you could probably get a set of twenties now, but but this this sounds better than a pair of nine. No, like a lot better. Of course it does. Of course it would. But I mean, it's just I'm, TV, com- I'm talking the looks. by itself sounds better than a pair of nines. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I really but, like uh, it. In in my opinion, I would get. Is it a seventy-seven inch? I would probably go sixty-five. I will bring the this to the hotel the, and beat you up with it. It's on the blurred, top. so it looks like your dildo. <laughs> it is the deal, though. Oh, yeah, because you get that goofy privacy f- nonsense going on. <laughs> but it's very Scandinavian yeah. look. It is. Yeah, it is. It's very yeah. Muto, the, very as far as the design goes. Yeah. I like but, it. Yeah. I, mean, but, uh, I might end up with one of them in Florida. You never know. A Scandinavian or the speakers? <laughs> Hopefully both. <laughs> She's called Felipe. You'll probably end up with a Spanish speaker. Yeah, it's called an au pair, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it should be there by next podcast. You don't have any kids, don't you worry. <laughs> that's the that's the plan. Sweet. But yeah, uh, you know, please make stands for this. Even if you wanted to just pop the speaker at sort of more normal height in a, I don't know. If you think about mid-century modern houses in uh, Florida or around Europe where they're a bit larger, where you just want a speaker somewhere, you don't want to have to go out and specifically buy uh, some furniture a table for it. Of if, some sorts, yeah. 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 I mean that that would be nice because you could you could put it on the ground, but like nobody's gonna like go and hey, I need to turn the volume up. Yeah, that's goofy. I mean, surely they could repurpose a nine legs for this. What is the price difference between a balance and an A nine right now? Thirteen hundred euro, if I'm not mistaken. Not but that, I could... yeah, uh, I can actually look it up. So if you have a big empty corner space, I would rather say that. Would the A9 still beat acoustically the balance? Yes. I personally, I think so. Yeah, it's it will. A much it wider stereo, and it looks mm. a hell of a lot better. It's just well, it's, the functionality. If you don't it's, want it's to do things, yeah. You want oh, to actually, do the res- more it's it. actually a lot closer now. The balance is now two thousand five hundred. Yeah. And uh, A9 is 3100. So I would it's... definitely go for the A9. Yeah, but, all day long. Yeah. But here What's I the difference between the balance and the 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 Biosound 2? Uh the Biosound 2 is 200 euro 300 euro more. Cuz that doesn't sound as good as the balance no. at all, but it looks a hell of a lot better. That's what you're paying for. That that is uh if if you like the looks of uh, of of IKEA, get the balance. If you like the looks of B and O, get the Vivsound too. Nah, I'm just kidding. But no, but it's more like if you want the Scandinavian touch or the true bios and era. yeah, because because the I balance guess. is very very Scandinavian look alike. Yeah, mm. it is. But it's yeah. very timeless bios and, design or Scandinavian design. And I have to kind of say right that now. after I get I got the balance, I had a few here. It's not as bad as it looks on pictures. I actually kind of like it. I just don't say so. But the balance? Yeah. Balance is beautiful. I've seen it in the Oh, I don't think it's beautiful at all. Like, not at all. I I just like the way it's made. 
And I yeah. like the design. I like the design language. So for me, I just can I have know. a Dyson air purifier? Yeah. Base to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Dyson. <laughs> Not thing. sure that's entirely good. <laughs> well, those it's are kind of a premium well. fan, at least. But uh, no, I like it actually. Maybe you know. they should do a collab with Dyson. <laughs> Listen to music while you get purified. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it it won a design award in 2021. That means yeah. that apparently I have no idea what I'm talking about, which makes sense because a lot of people in the chat has the balance. I think. I don't yeah. hate how it looks, but I'm also not exactly in love with it, like a beer sound two or one. The marble edition, I kind of like. But yeah, Mike, Michael, you uh, like. Steve and most it's kind of the thing in Bang Austin world that either you are very pure the aluminium uh, kind of timeless design that Bang Austin, but it's mostly Bang, uh, David Lewis era that made this kind of aluminium thing. But most people are in that era. Or but I like, like an M3 design. and an M5 as well. It's just that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I almost feel like if it wasn't like th that ball on on the platter, like if that design was slightly different, it would have looked a bit better. Maybe even if it was a straight up tube, or maybe if the the bottom also curved down, where it was sort of more an hourglass. Oh, okay. I don't know. It I think it's an easily forgettable bigger. product. I mean, in terms of it sound, is. that's something totally different, right? Oh, I love the sound of the balance. Because the sound is, is, is insane. Yes, I love it. But I never heard yeah. two of them together. I would really love that. Uh, That'd be interesting to hear. Better than 18s. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I yeah. mean, 18 sucks. You think so, really? I yeah. think 18 still. 18s are 18s. terrible speakers. Other I hate them. They look oh, fantastic. Terrible. They look amazing, but I hate them. Yeah, they're not. I mean, they're they're, not and the only reason anything. why I hate the 18s is because of the price point. Now, yeah. That's, no, also before. That's the only reason before, why I hate the 18s. Right. They sound terrible compared to the price, but they look just stunning. And because, the balance look just awful, but sound stunning. Yeah, but I compare the 18s with the 8000. And in my mind, when it comes to price, in the beginning, we're kind of, yeah, what comes off the 8,000 and there was a little bit of price increase, but the sound was way better, especially the airiness of the tweeter. And yeah, they performed well. Yeah, they needed a subwoofer, but so if you really wanted with the 8,000, they also a subwoofer, but still, they're much better looking than but the 8,000 in my mind. The but price is not equivalent to the 8,000s. Not anymore. Never been. Back in the day, maybe, but not anymore. Nah, I don't agree. But yeah, Madile also said that, especially now where they are like 7,000 euros or something, and you also need a subwoofer and you don't have the technology, they kind of a dumb speaker compared to get a, pay a little bit more extra and you get the 28s. And yeah. Well, we're also stuff. talking this about a speaker like. that literally launched 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, design but the, stage but was like 15 years ago. Come, yeah, but people actually come into the stores and still want the 18s. And they're kind of the thing, the same with the 8000. They want the speaker that's timeless. And most people just use Spotify stream with it and put it in the background. And they don't care. But now, do you want to pay, back in the day, 4,000 euros or 4,200 euros or something? Or now, 7,000? Mm. Mm big increase in price i mean especially for what it is now yeah nothing's gone up as hard as the 90s <laughs> but nope. still, I well get the... 50s maybe <laughs> it's like the only investment that i've made that that is making yeah. me money essentially <laughs> or is worth something because crypto yeah. just fucking tanked the shit <laughs> i mean i really like the nordic ice edition as well yeah i like this one the most I think they're that's all gone. Probably now, the most but... beautiful. Oh yeah, but that's probably the most beautiful. Yeah, one they have. Yeah, the the, the the Marvel one is way too Dubai-ish. 
this is this is this is very cool. Yeah. It's cold. I like it. Yeah. But didn't you? It looks uh, like it's frosted. Showcase. It's like it's. It, I love it. It's like I want my women cold and dead. <laughs> 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 what do you want to say, paid and white, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you did show off uh, kind of a leather, kind of more industrial look of Bios Unbalanced, didn't you, Some Maybe it wasn't another speaker, maybe. You had the whole kind of another scenery when you did some video back in the day. Yeah, that was the... What was the A9? Yeah. No, but that was the A9 had a Nordic edition as well, right? Or whatever, Nordic, Nordic Sky edition. Mm. With those stupid legs that were dipped like two inches into like whatever paint. And it looked like yeah. they had stupid socks on them. Yeah. I didn't like that. I like the the actual grills were awesome, but I did not like the touch with the on the legs. Like I and a lot of people that bought them, they bought the other set of legs just to swap them out or never put them on. Did the same with the Beer Lab 12s, right? They're kind of half dipped or shaded mm. uh, that was actually kind of cool but yeah some design a nordic parts. ice edition of the build up 12 threes oh those would be sick looking yes i wonder where those like mia ando uh lab 12s ended up at yeah collectors because she yeah yeah the the the, the, uh... the two to the the one she colored yeah 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 i don't know because she colored the speakers and also a huge yeah. sheet of aluminium that yep. would go with it, right? No. Yeah. Looked amazing, yeah. Fucking cool but shit, don't man. Don't you think that the 12s would actually make a kind of good comeback in kind of the design? Because I still think they yep. look amazing. Yep. Yeah. Especially those kind of different sizes they actually made because they had a small one and the two and the three at least. And you have, I would, also have you one. know what I would do if I were to reintroduce the twelves. I would motorize the lens so it hides away when they're when they're not in use. Yeah, so it comes well, from the back and out. Yeah, from either yeah. top or bottom, and yeah. just yeah, even and just have the, the one kind of... solid sheet of aluminium that doesn't look like it looks like a fucking wall sconce. Yeah, with four hundred and something watts in it, but it ain't light power. And I agree. That I don't would think look it would amazing. I or and at least make a speaker like because that would be something like if when it comes to design, like that would be something that would look very intriguing, and that'd be something that you could more or less like. There's an homage to the '50s right there, right? Because the tweeter comes up or down, and I think that that BNO has the savvy and tech and, and engineering enough to minimize that tech. To, to stuff it into yeah. such a small speaker, and and then the the indicator lights, like they do on the edge with the where they like car very uh, very low into the aluminium, so the mm -hmm. light will come behind the aluminium. I mean, just do like a line on the on the twelve threes or twelve or whatever. That yeah. was exactly what what I was gonna say next. Or. Uh, I guess you can't really interpret it into the mid-range speaker much, but uh, you could, I guess, if you just took the the last row of the outer edge of the the dots and have those as a volume to come up. I mean, this looks amazing. I have to swallow. Them. That's what she said. But uh, have, yeah. have have you guys seen the the new no name uh, phone with yes. the yeah. circle light? If you had that yeah. circle light. <clears throat> on the mid range of the 12 three so you can like just swipe if you want to turn the volume up and down and then yeah. on top you could have the the my buttons and stuff wow that would be amazing uh, that's kind of the thing with that phone that it has a brilliant easy or kind of good design to it. i it's don't think so that i would want to shove mozart platform into the bloody thing though i don't think that i would want the my buttons in it i think it's just for a simple reason that, like, the less you touch the it, the better off you are, right? Oh, I would definitely want the Mozart platform in them because I use it yeah, every day. Bring it all in. The, yeah, we can use everything. Yeah. I use the my buttons. Why hold back? Yeah, why hold back? Like when you walk past, but I walk past the 12 threes before I walk past the 28s. So it would just be nice just to go over and click. Also, you can control your peer living intelligence on it. 
It's a I fun mean, to God, are we really going to Mozart everything? Yeah, why not? Wow. But in Henry's case, he wants a speaker that is going to touch a speaker one or two meters farther away, but he wants a speaker that he can do the same thing just two meters before the another speaker so he can actually press the button. It's like HB says, you put that cool shit on there. everything now, right? Fuck. I, I don't I don't know. I just I think that there is time and place for the smart quote unquote speakers and then there's time and place for a speaker that just plays music. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's being played it's, to it. It's just we moved to the Mozart platform with all the new products. And yep. all the new products is getting integrated with the Bill Living Intelligence. It's getting integrated with Philips Hue, with the, all these kind of smart home stuff. Okay. So no, that's just, fine. That's fine. But why not then? Like, let's just not put all the fucking brain in it. Have it Mozart platform compatible and have the speaker just be driven by IP. Like, you know, as a new oh, generation, yeah. have it has it driven by IP. You know, maybe I don't think you, the efficiency is there to like run PoE into it because that would probably little eat a little more wattage than, than normal. But let's just say that you would drive or have the, the, the speaker on a PoE network uh in a standby mode so everything is done like all the main components and then essentially like your power saving goes off up because there is no real consumption that they could claim because the speaker is technically off unless it's uh, you know wake on land type of thing and then uh if the tv the next generation of tvs let's say are, are compatible or, or or capable of uh ip uh surround or surround over ip Mm. Then you can just assign those speakers like the timing. Everything is perfectly figured out. We know it's possible to do because the 28s connect in that fashion between themselves. Right. But I just don't think that the speakers need all these fucking sources and shit in them. They just need but to have me, enough guess... brain to do. But like if you're buying a I'm talking just a theater setup, right, or a conventional setup where you actually are going to do more than two speakers. It does not make any sense to have Mozart platform smart speakers in that scenario. Because you're never going to use it. But for, for selling new speakers, I think every new build lab now has to be uh, so you can stream music directly to the to the speaker, so they can work as so they have the bio sound core kind of feature and a feature in it. Because people don't want to buy a second or a no, I understand or something that. next. Yeah, I understand that, but they want you can do that already. Yeah, but the, the, what I'm talking that, about, the speaker is already on a network anyway, so it's visible. So yeah. you could stream into it. That's not the point. The point is that I'm talking about the, the hands-on interface. That, that there's a complete unnecessary, especially if you're going for a sleek profile speaker. Let's say it's designed to be mounted on the wall. You ain't gonna yeah. fucking go behind the couch and reach for shit. You gotta take a remote or one of the 18 you have and, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. you know, like I I just don't see the point. In uh, in in, I'm just saying not not going to the Mozart, but like you don't need to put and not everything has to be a full meal deal. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just can get away with the fucking ham sandwich, and 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 I think or that, a vegan sandwich. That's right, beyond meat. I mean, uh, I, I I would it it doesn't make sense not to put those kind of new features in it. It yeah, doesn't make why, sense not to do it yeah, when you have a platform. Back. But then what's the no, differentiation it, between BioSound and BioLab anymore? Is it literally going right. to be a software limitation? Like we don't feel like putting the Ethernet power link thing in here? I, I, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't put the platform in the new speakers. Because yeah. it wouldn't make any sense not to do it, in my opinion. Yeah, why hold back? Like I said, I agree with the new platform. I'm just not agreeing with everything in it. Like, you know, I don't think that the speaker needs to have a fucking Google thing in it if it's my rear channels in a theater. Or I, 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 I totally agree with you, Willie, but the problem is that you have 90s in front and most people yeah. don't. Yeah, well, fucking feels bad for bringing it for, up for now, God damn you. <laughs> make me miss the my shit so hard. The, the speaker, yeah. So it won't... But maybe, people, maybe, maybe Willie, not you, a speaker, yeah. but Willie, you have the 90s in front, so maybe you would like a pair of 28s in the back so you'll get that feature. See, I would use, like in my old apartment, I would have used 28s more yes, or less as they are would. on their own because in, they are the in the way. 
in the way. Yeah, like in, they're literally of in the way of me. And you would have used it to turn off and on your lights and do all these kind of crazy stuff because it's cool and it makes sense. And you walk past them all the time. You can put an ashtray on top of them and put your cigar in there. <laughs> God, so if you're not careful in like a few years, you're going to go, hey, Google, and surround sound, you're going to get a reply. <laughs> and all this shit comes on. <laughs> Everything starts blinking. <laughs> the thing is that only, usually only one Google speaker will answer you. Yeah, and always the one that the is 90s. furthest from me for some reason. Like when I was in, like when I, in my apartment, if I level was in my bedroom, right fucking here, and I say, "Hey, bastard!" Right, mm. blah blah blah, and the one from the kitchen would respond, "What do you want?" <laughs> yeah, and it was loud too. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why is that? Why are you you supposed to but be I mean talking here now? But I mean, they didn't put the Google platform into the Bill Lab 28, so why would they put it into a new speaker? Are you sure some ever, uh, people can hold them back from doing that again? But I, I tried the last time and it worked out, but no, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> because if all the whatever, because if there's no distinction between Bill Lab and Bill Sound anymore. It, Whatever has Google in it, I'm not buying it. There at least has to be the option to not have GVA in it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you turn the GVA off every time you say something equivalent to Google, it will say, your microphone is muted. Please turn it on. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's. I hate GVA. So, I would guess we well, the worst is the same like what uh, Steve was saying, right? That it auto updates at two o'clock in the morning, and you get freaking poltergeists in the fucking kitchen yelling at you know. Yeah. <laughs> like I just know. I don't have all these problems that you guys are talking about. Well, I don't have them now either. <laughs> My Google <laughs> machine is packed in a storage locker <laughs> with yeah, everything right. else. I mean, I have Google in every room, and I don't have any issues. Yeah. When I had the A9 Mark IV here with Google, I obviously, for testing and videos and stuff, had it on. Uh, and for some reason, watching Lord of the Rings, it's understood from the movie Lord of the Rings that it should join the TV. Oh. <laughs> so all of a sudden, it's like, where the fuck is this echo coming from? And the A9 turned itself on and <laughs> joined the TV as a source. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, I'm a bit yeah. on one react to the TV when, especially programs when they ask something and the 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 based on one just think they answer the question, but yeah, it misinterpret everything. It's act weird. Yeah. But either way, I don't want it more so for privacy and that sort of thing. I mean, I I also don't like that. Uh, it's not that clear uh, that the line in is then owned by Google. Well, you don't feel safe that if you turn stuff up that it's truly off or... Because it's you, never you truly off. You, because you can yeah, still so talk you, to you it and it'll yeah. stay it's muted, meaning it's listening. Yeah, so you right. really want a product that has it to function and doesn't have it. I want... I'm thinking of selling my level and, and buying another one without the GBA, to be honest with you. Also, I the GBA like level, A9, uh, Emerge, and all that, the line in is somehow owned by Google for the time being. So uh, if you have a line input from a CD player, whatever, uh, it has to go through the Google app, which is really stupid, and there's extra latency. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, there are, there is disadvantages to it, but I kind of don't understand why you want across. that integrated to begin with. Anyway, if you really want Google, just get the Google Pod thingies. The reason why I want it integrated uh, in my products is that then I don't have to buy a Google Home Mini or a Google mm -hmm. Home or whatever. I could just buy a Bang and Olufsen product, and uh, then I'll have the Google Home. I mean, I I, I hate. Know. I hate that my BioSound 1 in the bathroom doesn't have Google Home because every morning when I go to the bathroom, the, it, it turns on the music when it has presence in the bathroom. 
but I might as well wanted to listen to the news so I could just ask Google to tell me the, the latest news. And I can't do that because it doesn't have TVA. Somehow I'm imagining you have that elevator music coming on me going to the bathroom. Yeah, it's like Steve was, is saying, the GV Motor Line is, it can be joined. So if you, you know, are in his shoes where he would like to listen to <clears> his uh, antiquated turntable, he's out of luck. Yeah. Because he can't uh, join in the th the, the freaking line in, right? Which is stupid. Ooh, I know what you can do. You can buy a Google Assisted smoke detector and just hang that on the ceiling, and then it works perfectly because it's always equidistant in the room. <laughs> the Nest smoke detector. <laughs> God, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just I don't see any downsides on the GBA products because I don't use line in. Yeah, I use line in on my M3 for my stupid turntable and that's it. I don't use line in for anything else. So mm -hmm. I don't have the problem with delays and I use the GBA every morning, every day, yeah. turn on lights, turn off lights. I use it to announce if our doors is being open and closed. So I know if the little one is opening a door because, I mean, he, his room is out to a balcony, and I would like to know if he opens the door out to the balcony. So if he opens the door, the Google Voice Assistant will actually just say out in the room, Hamilton's door is open now. So Question. Have you ever uh, watched a Danish action movie? Yes. The chance is nearly 100% that some bloke in India listens to your... Uh, uh Sure. shit in your living room sure, and for me that's care. like yeah no you don't get don't access care. to that part i don't <laughs> have off. anything to hide i mean you, you don't decide that <laughs> i mean what's your bank yeah. account number i want your pin code <laughs> i never talk about my bank account no number. no it's in my phone oh. come on you don't hide it come on <laughs> What's your credit card number? My bank <laughs> I need to order some to shit. Go around and talk I can't, about I can't even number. tell you, but I can tell you that it's it, something with 8454 four, something. Yeah. You don't even get to I see don't your even own know. bank account. Oh, hell. Yeah. I mean, everything is in my phone. I don't talk about stuff. I don't know. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> it just works. Yeah, yeah, I know it works, but I mean, it's not free. And I'd rather not be the product even more so of Google than I already am. Especially when they have access to the inside of your house and what you're saying. I think it, I think it's a bit fearish what what you guys are talking about. No, but the, these these things have happened before many a times already. Mm -hmm. And it happens I, I, every, every just before we started. Uh, I'm going on a cruise uh, from Stockholm to Finland uh, later this August. And we just, me and my girlfriend was talking about taking a cruise and with the family and all that. And just on Instagram, it's just, you want to take a cruise? Yeah, I'm going to take a cruise. So yeah, yeah, stuff may be listening, but still depends on, yeah. Uh, I, I just don't like the, like the, the ads are creepy though. The ads get creepy, like I get, yeah, but you know, still, I don't have sit down over a cigar, there, you yeah. start talking about some shit, and all of a sudden, like, these fucking ads are coming up exactly about what you had been talking about for the past few hours. Like, that's my problem with the Googling. I understand, yes, it's convenient, but they are fishing for information constantly and continuously. I only like, get, it doesn't uh, stop. They are. From, yeah. But the they worst thing is that I think that you're more equivalent to get a breach at Bang & Olsen headquarters with all your information than anywhere else then get your email address hacked by google or from google yeah but it's it's like whatever you give b and o is not as complete as what you potentially talk about to your wife or kid or whatever you just lean to your bio uh, you know bio sound products or the bio vision or I know, whatever bang awesome or product that is connected to google and you just say fix the stuff fix it <laughs> I don't know. I've lived with it, and now I'm living without it. And I, quite honestly, 
I am not going to re-implement Google in my house uh, as far as the voice assistant goes. Because everything is in a, in, a, in a remote control commands in a B remote one. I could care less. The only thing that I wish that BNO was able to do or capable to do somehow, either through the app or whatever, is if you have more than one BO remote, one chassis, and you're going to use it around the house like you, Eric, do, right? Because you don't have one remote for a fucking thing. Like you probably have all the zones in it if you have never put them over time. I wish that they had a software or a Bluetooth dongle or, or a service tool ability that you could replicate the settings, that you can just download the entire config off of one remote and then mm -hmm. fucking paste it into, I don't know, six or however many remotes you have. Because that, that, that is the biggest time consumer now that I find is to actually set up people's remote controls in the house. And change after, uh, and changing we all, out the passwords. And changing the names of the light commands changing yes. the name of the control commands and all of it like i mean everything putting everything just... into the same order because i have a yes. i have a remote in uh, in every room every room i have a remote and the remote is connected to the speaker system in that room but it all the remotes has the same commands as they have curtains up down lights on and off that's it and then they all have all curtains down and all lights off that's it and I, I replicated that on every remote, but I did it manually on every freaking yeah. remote in the house. And it's, it's a fucking bottle of wine. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's... I guess the whole conversation about GVA is a bit m mute if Bino sells the option to not have GVA in it. I just, I don't know, their love for putting it in everything makes me worried that eventually they just go, well, just shut the button off. And it's like, yeah, okay, I'm not buying it then. I mean, it's not so yeah, much. Yeah. Do I mind because I'm I'm fairly complete, not uh, not a hundred percent, but I'm just saying, like, if it's <laughs> for people like me, for Sandy, you'll just lose us as a customer if being those. I think I think they were very very close to put it into the lab twenty eights. I thought I've heard of that too. I thought that that was actually going to end up happening. Yeah, me too. But I, I, yeah, I just wouldn't have bottom if that was the case well if there was a, an option to not have it then uh yeah sure but if there's only one option then no uh, i flat so. ass why so scared it's not scared i i i just don't feel see it's the about a choice man their business yeah. yeah i mean i don't want to be listened to that's just what it is if you pay amount that money you should have this choice that not to have it that kind of yeah not only uh, that, even, not. even with Google, right? Like the, the reason they yeah. sell the, these Google minis and whatnot at the price they do is because they make it back on all your info. Like yeah. they, they literally data mine it to, to serve you better ads. And it's like, you don't need to know all that stuff. I mean, yeah, they do that. I mean, it's, it's like saying, why can't your private conversations with your wife or girlfriend be broadcast to the world. I mean, you're not saying anything illegal, right? It's like, no. yeah, still, it's not meant for you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. On one thing I have to say that, uh, maybe taking the, the, the thing to another question, I got uh, a friend of mine that kind of, or oh, friend, but, yeah, an old friend of mine that kind of uh, talk a little bit shit on by Austin by at my, especially since I uploaded new videos on my YouTube channel that I did do every so often. But uh, yeah, that the uh, speakers of uh, Bang Austin especially is overpriced and more designed and, and all that. And at the same time, he can't listen to his tubular amplifier because it's too hot outside. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, because tubular amplifiers needs the work. They need to heat up, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, but they, they extract a bunch of heat, and in the winter, it's great to have them in a room because they're extracting heat, especially in a sound room. Mm. But if you have a closed sound room that you listen to music and you don't have uh, fans or AC or something in it. It's not the perfect uh, room for listening to music because it gets hot as fuck. So especially for his kind mm. of speakers and all that, it yeah, wasn't the perfect. I was like, you know, with class D amplifier. From my knowledge, that uh, most other friends that I had that had tuber uh, amplifiers 
you really need at the summertime need to have a class D amplifier to complement so you can't actually listen to music. But as I said many times before, bang O's and stuff is just it works. And the design of it, I mean this kind of depends on because some speakers looks the way they do because it has to do, and I think most bang O's speakers ace that way. So depending on what you actually like, it design, otherwise it's just form follows function. But uh, the classic thing is with the 90s, there are even now that the price has increased, they're kind of still in my mind, good value compared to other brands at that extreme. Of course they are. Yeah. Especially when you talk about it. Yeah. I don't disagree. I just, I don't think they're at the same sort of brand recognition as most of the others for the same value. I mean, they may, be, they may be better in other ways, but. But he has the cast. I think the common uh, dislike and hate would be that they're, box. they are, but listen, I think that for the nineties, uh, the problem is that they're fully digital. And a lot of these dweebs in uh, the high-end audiophile world, they don't like the uh, they don't like the digital. They don't like a, basically a fully prescribed sound, essentially, that treats I guess it treats itself to the room. They like to tinker with shit. They you know like yeah. you you got to listen to these cables. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, oh, yeah, it sounds better with these cables yeah, exactly. on, or or like it's that's a placebo, bro. Like honestly, I could put exactly, just freaking because... long bowing clippings into a fucking echinacea pill, and and you'd still probably won't catch the cold because you just believe that that's what's helping you. So I just I don't believe in that that audiophile nonsense. And we've had this shit, and everybody that's ever worked in a BNO store, first question is, what do you? How do you compare this to Bose? Which is someone compared to my fucking retarded body. already. We've established this now, and then, and then they go on into all these other brands that I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't study that stuff. But I don't I actually care for it. Listen to other brands in the same kind of class, and what there's a especially good example is an MBL uh, branded speaker that has the kind of same functions and kind of same kind of drivers. They have kind of same output and same kind of a uh, uh, omnidirectional kind of speaker and all that is very close to the bill of fives yet it's twice the price and you need amplifiers to it yet it perform uh, sound wise very close so why should you pay that all that extra stuff something that it's not just know, that it's the versatility like if yeah. you're looking for it, pure stereo then I would almost say if you're that much of a purist, 90s are a bit of a strange buy because they so easily switch roles. If you really yeah. love them, I don't say, I wouldn't say don't buy them, but it's it's a speaker that can do the wide narrow switching, the omni switching. It can work with a TV and other sources that quickly. It it's works like, good in, yeah. It's weird for a pure, and... like a super purist to buy it. Because yeah, they like to go yeah. and switch sources and them. change filters and whatever else have you. I don't know. I don't get it. I I understand that it also is a uh, in some cases that I have uh, come across with people that I had dealt with over the years is also it's a, it's a status. Yes, yeah, they just sure. buy it because because it's just like how much did you spend? Oh, fucking three hundred thousand dollars on a stereo? Are you out of goddamn mind? Well, you, you know? do get the bragging rights of saying my system. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, B and yeah, like people it's... never tell each other. Well, at least my system. <laughs> it's like, but my system works with everything in the hallway, the shower room. And... Yeah, so does my system. All our systems work with everything. Your sound doesn't work with YouTube. Like <laughs> there's no, there's no bragging rights other than the you know if you got good, better, or best speakers. That's about it. It all works the same at the end of the day. The backbone is exactly the same. So. I finally finished Masterlink and everything in my house here. So everything is done. Now I just got to program the gateway of tonight. And then uh, I'm, I'm leaving. 
<laughs> I'm fucking gone. That's it. Uh, generic enthusiast <coughs> says, is this a question of lifestyle, as in high-end crowd thinks of B&O as fancy bows? Potentially. But then they haven't actually lived with B&O, I don't think. But I think Steve told Henrik in that video, I think it was that video, that when you buy the 90s, the 90s are straight out of the package. Extremely good or well-tuned well for they are. Yeah, you can always tinker with them to, you know, get that enhanced, finer, high fee sound experience. But still, for what when you buy them, you want to, compared to you know buying another brand, you still need to tinker with it a bunch of lot, especially find the right cables, amplifiers, and all that kind of shit. Because depending on your what you actually like and all that, everything is depending on something else. I have a feeling that the, the sort of lifestyle look from a lot of people in the the hi-fi community that B&O's fancy bows comes from probably the early 90s, like mid-90s. I think so where, too, yeah. Where you potentially were looking at like 6,000s or whatever and the price mm. people paid for that. In the B&O world, not too much, but then if you turn them to like 70% volume that they fall on their ass, basically. And, it's sort and of that like, lived on, yeah. Uh, I mean, however much you love the eight thousands, they're not exactly powerhouses of, of of sound output. No, but they still surprisingly have clarity. good for the size. But yeah, you know, they still sounded better than the Bose's fucking seven hundred one speakers that were the size of a footprint was the size of a, a eight and a half by eleven or an A four paper sheet. And they were about uh, a meter tall, a meter something. Yeah, and they it's... had this direct reflective acoustic, uh, whatever nonsense, right, with the bass porting all over the shit. And they sounded nice, but nice for not having to heard B and O yet. So yeah, I I don't know. Like for me, uh, what I I fell in love with B and O because it's 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 timeless forever. Like it just looks good, everything looks good with one another. It fucking works well and what works together, it works in every single room. And and, and I so can always expand the, upon it. Um, and you know <clears throat> Yeah, you where, can get where the, the TV, other stuff the music system work as Henrik, you, even the music in the hallway works. You can program it with your you know living. But with all the other it. stuff everything with all the works. other stuff, it's more or less uh it's just it's it's a it's a chasing it's 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 a never ending chase for the best. Yeah, it is. Not That's bad. what it is because it, there's always like if all four of us would buy something, then it still would be you know dick bragging contest because you'd still okay. Well, I got these cables instead of those cables because I read that those cables don't sound good with those speakers. Whatever, right? Like everybody reads their own reviews on these things. Where I just I just like it more. It's. B&O is very Apple. It's very linear in in like the the sound quality standard that they have. Like it obviously just gets better and better with with the the time and age. But it's uh, also if you look at six thousands, like those speakers. If if you bought them to have your ears blown out, then the either you didn't have enough money or the salesman was an asshole and they just wanted yeah. to make buck <laughs> out of you. So the, the, those are the, the the only things. But <clears throat> when it comes to everything else. Like yeah, live and let live. As far as the you know, like if, if that's your hobby, fucking go 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 all for it. It's the same thing. Like I have, I have a friend that has just a fucking gun fetish, right? And scopes and shit and fucking Vicatini rails and God, and that's tripods, even more of an bipods. expensive hobby than being a <laughs> Fuck me, like night vision goggles and shit. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm like, we're fucking Canada. Where are you gonna go? I'm go hunting yeah. with the night vision scope and an AR-15? Where you're gonna just like fucking you know put that deer down real good? <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck are we doing? But then again, that's his hobby, right? Like, I'm fucking almost 42 years old and I still go to Lego store. So what? <laughs> right? Now I'm fucking full room of it. If you bought all the shit here in Sweden, you will get contacted by the police because they would <laughs> think you were going to invade some country or something because <laughs> why the fuck did you need all this kind of stuff? Are you crazy? But yeah. Yeah, but that's you know like to each their own, and you know they're my coming man, they're coming. I need to see you coming. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Still, you so, can buy a hunting rifle in these kind of big, expensive, either British brands, even Swedish gun maker brands, 
just a hunting rifle with you know engraves and all that and yeah you're talking the same money as yeah bo speakers it's super expensive it's a normal hunting rifle but yeah but you know to each their own like yeah i my hobby and passion is is more or less what became my career is b and o and that's it like yeah. i don't fucking care for the rest of it i will work with the rest of it because i like to see b and o work with the rest of it so if people buy you know I'd rather have them buy B and O and tie it into a fucking control four system for all I care, as long as they can control it, even though it's their shitty control four remote instead of the B O four or B O remote one. Uh, but you know, like that's that's where I, I I like to at least you know bring it into whatever and whoever. Everybody that knows me has a piece of B and O in their house. Interesting uh, result of the poll, by the way. Best current speaker is still majority nineties fifties by. 39 percent then 28 then stage then balance hmm. uh, i must say personally i voted stage even though i have 50s and 28s and it's that... very good value for money and if you think of if you categorize your speaker or you buy for value for money that's another thing but yeah i think that the 28 is way too expensive now and i still i, I agree with eric and i agree with you mikey the best speaker right now is is the stage, in my opinion. I just miss my 90s. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, nothing is cheaper than the thing you already have, obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't but, think you but, would miss them if you sold them and had to rebuy them at 115 grand. But as 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 the question well, says, no. best current speaker, then mm. yes, the 90s and the 50s. Oh, well, the, the 90s speaker, yeah. is, is the best, then the 50s, then the 28, and probably the balance, and then the stage, or vice versa. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it depends but, on how you define it yourself, I guess. I mean, to me, it's always a there's always a price uh, to performance ratio in there. I, I mean, think I think the balance is more powerful than the stage. The stage will just out of a sudden say, "Oh, I can't do it anymore," and then the ABL will just go. No. Oh, I'm done. I don't play any bass anymore for a few minutes. But the the balance doesn't do that as much, in in my opinion. But I mean, the best bang for the buck, that's the stage, of course. But uh, the best speaker is, of course, still the 90s. And but some of you have the 90s. Around, turn it around again. <laughs> what is the worst value for money or worst? Speaker? Oh, that is funny. Uh, okay. Emerge. I have one in mind, but let me your pick first. I would put please, Emerge. Please put the Emerge in there. <clears throat> or Edge. The Edge. Emerge, no, the edge. edge is amazing. Yeah, but value the for edge, money. The sound, the sound of the Edge yeah. is just crazy good. You can't place it in a home. That's a thing that. I just went to my friend's house and they placed an itch on the wall on the side like a clock and it looks amazing. Yeah, but nobody, that's kind of maybe the only person in the world that has it as it should be. Because none people, I have one person that actually bought it and yeah, they had to get that stand, walls, uh, floor stand from uh, STB bracket. The floor stand is stupid on the yeah, but, uh, on the on the, on the don't edge. get it for the wall stand because mm. it's weird for them to have it in the wall it's good for kind of um commute or kind of a store place or a shop or uh yeah. but yeah that's kind of what is changed with that because what it is as you say the music or the sound from it is amazing but yeah. the shape of it and how it is meant to place that will but, just all fall apart. Mikey, are you putting the, the Supreme in there as well? <laughs> um, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. But I already have the Explorer <laughs> in there. Okay. Uh, so I, I can only really think of three. Emerge, <clears throat> Edge, and Explorer. Like, the Edge? <laughs> really? Yeah, I think Edge. Well, as an there. option. like People don't have to vote for it. I don't know, but I think like, should, kind of I, I can't think quirky. of a fourth to put in the poll, even remotely. Let what me go to the website. I, I guess yeah. I can add the balance. No, the balance is amazing. Yeah, it's just exactly. ugly. That's, yeah, yeah <laughs> but that could make it one of the worst speakers because it is ugly. You still need to look maybe at the, it. But maybe the what about, uh, does it have to be speakers or can we go headphones? 
headphones, sure. Because yeah. I think those new headphones are not worth the money. The... Yeah. They're, they're like EQX in a, or oh, in ear, right? Earbuds? Yeah, I know. The EQX or With the EQ or the EX? Yeah, five hundred twenty nine dollars. That's kind ridiculous, <laughs> dude. Go for price. <laughs> Uh okay, well that does. Yeah. Let's see what comes out of this. There's a lot of E products, right? <laughs> yeah. Whenever they chose something they choose something with an E, it's it's sort of like eh. That was a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. I just hate yeah. the emerge. I hope Steve is still here so he will <laughs> join the emerge. <laughs> I think it's a it's a clear great. winner in that it's shit. <laughs> I just hate it. I like the emerge, but I cannot know the limits for what it is. I I don't expect it for what it is, and especially for the price, you, it's okay. But it's no M three. What do you do? You think not... do you do you seriously think that the emerge is worth the price? The 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 regular one uh, is okay. Because oh. when you think of people, the people that buy Bang Olsen, they will put that kind of speakers in the bathroom now that I have the M3. No, you put Especially that in the office they... so everybody asks what Browder brand is this. That's what you do. Yeah, but still, people will still have it. And to the music they're playing and all that shit, it's okay and it works. I would, I would never pay that price for that no, no, no. speaker. Uh, I... No, 300 299 pounds or euros that's the that's my ceiling for this yes i agree for me i will o always go for the level and let's you know what let's go fucking stupid and go go 425 for the wood one that would be the two, most 299 for the plastic one and 320 for the wooden one i would go 350 it's not even 350 a, that's fine. it says it's available yeah. in november <laughs> <laughs> Of but what yeah, year? This I year? It looks, yeah, it looks good. I think in the but yeah, it has to be the wood. The plastic one is yeah, as I say, God, too much it's of So expensive for what it is. It's such a bad speaker. Like really, yeah. really bad. For me, it's it does what is what you can think of for this space. I mean, you can, if you call AT and T, you can get one for fifty quid. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And they don't even use quid in the US. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that <clears throat> they overstepped for how much is inside it. Because I there's yeah. no flipping way that it's seven hundred and fifty pounds worth. It is overpriced. That's that's for outrageous. Sure. Yeah. For Especially for the, the only one that is acceptable that you have in picture right now. Yeah, that's even more than the asking price. If the, this was the asking price. That was kind of okay, but yeah. I mean, if the but, old yeah. one was five or six hundred <clears throat> euro, maybe, but seven fifty is crazy for what it is, and the black one think for six hundred is like no. Yeah, but that's why I think mm -hmm. the edge is even more crazy because for the price, yes, it's actually good sounding, but you can't place it in, you can't use it in a home. Where should you ever put it? The only thing is they can actually use the edge, the shape, the thing with the edge, uh, is to have it as a TV speaker as a compliment to the to the stage. No, that's not true. We, we've had several people uh, send pictures over the times where uh, they hung an edge in like a, a they had a, an odd wall in a living room and they hung it like a clock. Uh, so yeah, but it it's the, the problem is is that you need either a, an oddly shaped house where it works or a massive house where you have a lot of space. Mm. But Bang and Olsen thought that oh, every kind of young people would use would buy the speaker and hang it on the wall, and everyone was like, nope. <laughs> I will not damage my wall. And not, no, 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 no. I will not have a music system hanging <clears> on the wall. Kind of weird. No, but that's kind of where it fell apart, and for that reason, I think it's sadly. But I, I think they had a different clientele in mind than m most of their normal customers, so to say. I mean, all just like I with still... the shape, right? It was kind of more of a, an industrial design product. Every everybody I showed the emerge to, 
the the people who wanted to buy it was actually 55 plus yeah hmm. and for the reason the buying the speaker is not to push them to the limit it's just no they, the they they wanted to put it in on the bookshelf yeah that was it yeah and hmm. they got the money for it and they will buy it so it will sell so that's why i think bang wasn't actually for the market they're announcing the product for people will actually buy it especially for the expensive price for it people will still buy it the, the edge sadly not many people ever buy it i mean no it's a beautiful product i, wonder, I really like it, yeah, it is, yeah. it's a fail though like it's a beautiful fail yeah. it's yeah. in my yeah. eyes i wonder how many like what was their the, like their production predictions for how much they're gonna you know and yeah. then what was the actual reality of it when they realized probably midways the life cycle of this product like bro this isn't selling in any fucking color we make i remember my dealer especially before the speaker was <clears throat> announced that he was like dude you will sell your 20s immediately and get two of these and later he was like oh i kind of misinterpreted the whole kind of situation because no one bought it almost but i mean the no. best thing about the edge is that it will never go out of stock because they would never be able to sell the products that they actually made to begin with. So mm -hmm. you'll always be able to get an edge. If I mean, someone I'll bet would you, do a, I'll yeah. bet you $100 that if you go to B&O's webpage and go under the edge, everything is sold out but the edge. Within and three days. They'll be right, right now and you'll yeah. they'll ship it right away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. At your door tomorrow, fuck. You got two, yeah. you just put it right to one, yeah. But oh, actually, if someone That's, just made a smart thing that it actually looks uh, you can connect your tv to it it would look great because it's, i think it's, it's still it's just... still it's still the the only product that's it it it's been on sale more times than any other product it's been on every discount oh yeah it's been on Sadly. everything yeah. and they're just trying to dump it at, at this point yeah and they can't even get rid of him so there are so many but a... The worst thing is that they sound so good. Yeah, but think of a motorized stand like the clip stand, uh, like the Vision 7 speakers. You have the stage kind of shape, then you have the was it 7.2 or 7.6, what's it called? 7.2, right? 7.1. 7.4. 7.4, yeah. So that, but instead of have a circular, and you have a, on the moving stand, and you put whatever LG screen, that would work amazingly, but still, yeah. So it has to potential. I just don't have, like, I don't have a purpose for it. Like, the only place I could even, like, remotely see it work would be in the dining room in this house, because it basically would feed the kitchen and the living room space, and I guess the dining room type of thing. But uh, other than that, I, I don't know, like, where do you put yep. this? It's, it's a more expensive or better sounding uh, A9, but still people don't buy it for that reason. But for me, the only way it would work is uh, like a sound center or a TV speaker. It would look great and work. Well, but, yeah. The problem like that is if you face it one way, you're going to lose the whole stereo perspective. Yeah, if they mm -hmm. manage. I, I, yeah. I think the, the problem is that if you put it on the floor, I've never seen an edge that is actually just level on the floor. It's always leaning somewhere. Yeah. And it's like, oh, mm. I'm leaning this way today. And then the next day, oh, I'm leaning this way today. And it's just something but that... How, how do you stop the not, volume from rocking up? <laughs> I, I would not have that. It, it needs to go back to center. When you're done volume up and down, it needs to go back to square center. And, and it's just, it's thing just that, yeah. oh, I'm always, uh, no, nah, I'm just going to stay here. It's, it's, mm. I can't also have. Also, the thing that the dealer always thought that was kind of cool to demonstrate, and people's like, yeah, it's cool, but uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I would never, ever use it. Going to the wall and just, <clears throat> no. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm a sucker for aluminum. It looks beautiful, but I just, I don't have. A purpose for that speaker in my even though with everywhere that i've come across kind of, it looks amazing but sadly no use for it yeah shame so 
Yeah, I'm sure Buno feels bad for having that going on because that's a lot of speakers that they probably, uh, not that they don't ever sell. At least they'll uh, always have service parts for the ones that people bought. Wasn't that kind of the same thing with the the build <clears throat> sound certifier that kind of misinterpreted the sale for that one also? Hmm. Was it Brian? I don't know. Them all or I don't know. With the Biosound 35s, that was actually yeah. a pretty pretty major fail too acoustically. Like that like speaker it, did yeah, not sell well. I like the design it's, of it. I think if they made a Bio uh, Bio Lab 6000. Yeah, I only managed to sell two of them. Thankfully, the second one was my <laughs> my demo speaker. So, and no I one like yeah. Mm, yeah, I you know what my problem with that was that like for the. The, 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 I guess the, price. The, the fresh breath on a 3500, that fucking thing should have told time from the out of the box. Get it in an option that, you know, display time or don't display time. Because that was the one thing that I really missed on that speaker. Because that's like yeah. if you put it in the kitchen, you can just look up and see time just like on a 3500. It's, it's awesome. Exactly. So that's, you know, one of those things that feels bad, I guess. But, uh, I didn't really like it acoustically either. It wasn't. It was very underpowered. It was just as underpowered compared to the uh, 3500. Is, you know, for what you would expect from that yeah. uh, 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 shape and size <laughs> will come out. Beautifully volume, made. Very disappointing. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. certainly. The yeah. aluminium work on them was impeccable, dude. Like you could cut your hand open hard on those. Like, and I like the, the, the shape on. on the side. Yeah. Yeah. The so. It was beautifully made, but it really just, it, it was very underperforming speaker for the times. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it didn't sound exactly. bad exactly, but just for the price. It was good for the radio, man. It was good for spoken yeah. word radio and news, you know, in a, in an office, like you couldn't really listen to it, you know, properly, I would say like it was, it's a background speaker that looks cool. Yeah. And was it Brian or who, who bought like seven or like every tv or something you had it like in every room. Oh, I think brian yeah. only had two of them. yeah brian had two, two, yeah, two of them. but yeah that's maybe the whole tale of them almost but yeah that's i don't know I, i'm not a i'm not a fan of this whole well not a fan it's it's you know what like maybe how the could you know should it be how would you ever phone? know like you don't know until you bring it to the market and then the response is the way it is right like there's people that absolutely despise the look of lap threes regardless of how they sound but you know it's just like i have people that absolutely just hate the taste the fucking 18s they can't look at them there's but did any of you have the, speaker ever. did you have the a3 bill play bill play a3 i don't remember it Oh, the iPad one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fucking believe it or not, I actually sold it last year on eBay. I dug it out Ooh. and I sold it for 50 bucks. Brand new inbox, sealed. So With This kind of, uh, on that kind of... Uh, if you waited uh, a year, to this year you would have gotten 55 for it with inflation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, or I would never sell it, that's for sure. <laughs> I was actually surprised that I sold it because yeah, I didn't yeah. think that people had iPads from that era still, right? Because it's 32 pin connected. It actually looked uh, at home almost. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I think, somebody's home. Yeah, especially, but yeah, it kind of needs that kind of stand to it in the stone thing there. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very nicely made, and I like the wall uh, bracket and whatnot, but. Yeah. It's just. A I think hard that speaker. they should have made it stereo. They should have made it stereo from one side. Yeah. Yeah. Then it would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Then it would make total sense. Because that then it would be a direct competition to the A9, and they yeah. should have had the you know leave the active woofer on the back so you don't see the fabric fly in the wind, <laughs> and also yeah and also put like a mid range in there to help uh, mitigate the, the the whatever the free, the 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 the, can, the noise cancellation or or a room compensation i guess like i would i would address that speaker in that way i wouldn't do it uh so it's it's just it's a stereo but from each side it it just to me it just makes no sense maybe when you have paired stereo then it does but but yeah 
What does the I poll say uh, right now? I agree with Vlad. Oh, the, the emerge is uh, the emerge is full on winning. <laughs> <For worse thinker>. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Surprise! Yeah. Oh, holy shit! Fifty-six percent right on. Yeah. <laughs> as weird as it may with... sound, yeah. the emerge is relatively a lot more expensive than an edge, and in terms of a product, way worse because the primary function it has is sound and you can make it sound good up to like 55 ish percent but after that it's it like it's but what, in a bathroom if people think it... the stage falls on its ass like henrik does like the, <clears throat> the emerge is way way worse like it like there's no bass at all after 55. not even 55. Yeah. Yeah. but if i compare the the merge uh, to the the PC version or the, the even the, the normal version of the BLM fours had no base either, and the 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 price for those back in the day still they were very inflation. expensive speakers. They were very expensive. Yeah, speakers. and then the entry level and it just sounded like shit. You know what okay. though? I had them in uh, in my bedroom, and for like like just listening to at bedroom levels. Great, very, very, very accurate speakers. Yeah, and they like go frequency response. They go stupidly like high. Bathroom, kitchen, the design of them look great, and for what they were meant for, great. But as I said, Michael, if you over fifty volume, I never do it in my bathroom, even though I have the shower and all that, the M3. But yeah, and I have my M3. Yeah, but an emerge on fifty percent volume isn't loud. No, no, but <laughs> an equalize. I have equalized my M3, so it is maybe t even too boomy for because it's in a corner. But yeah, still, I think an emerge would great work great. I would never buy it, but for what it meant for us. I think okay. I agree with Sandy that even if the A9 never existed, the Edge would never be a design icon. Nope, it would never last ten years. There's no freaking way. Well, it would last 10 years on the shelf because they can't get rid of them. That's for sure. But it will not be a design icon. No, I don't exactly. think that it would ever last. But I do I do love the idea of it. Yeah, me too. And the sound of it, everything, yeah. I love the idea. Yeah. I think yeah. I think it's bold. I think it's amazing. And I love the idea about the the itch, but it's just not for normal it's not houses. For a home. Like no. this works in the bar, yes. whatever this is, this yeah. works perfect. Yeah. But any shape but, of room similar to that, it could potentially work. Yeah, yeah, but it's not something that like you can't really sit in front of it and listen to it in stereo and and and, and be an audiophile about it. No, so, I mean in my room, no this like the only place it would maybe work a bit is either on that wall or directly above my TV, and it's like both are really weird <laughs> to do but that. It, wouldn't it work on the on the wall where you had the BSO nine thousand? Yeah, that's well, the one I was pointing at over there. Yeah, yeah. That, that would make sense. Uh, without have been in your apartment but i think that would make sense but there's also a total different things i don't think you buy the the edge to listen to music you buy the edge as a music experience that's just around the house and yeah. then the other thing is that you can get away with putting up the edge as they does here at alex Cacho terrazzi whatever mm -hmm. uh because it's it's an it's a bar you mm -hmm. can't get away of doing this at home. I mean, at all. No way. Maybe Unless you have like an entertainment room where you have a bar and a pool yeah. table and sure. that's on the wall and it's yeah. it's basically yeah. the same setting and scenario, right? But maybe I'll get one for Florida outside near the pool. Yeah. That, so that would make work. sense. Yeah. By that time I can get them for like thirty percent off anyway. <laughs> yeah. You can off get of the fifty percent off that they were already on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. One yeah, the, know. the emerge is the, the the clear winner. Winner, loser, <laughs> loser. Yeah, first loser. last. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the first last speaker. 
that's why sweeping edge though like or i mean sweeping uh difference 56 percent yeah margin i mean for the past 90 well, not 90 but for the past 30 years of banging all of some products i can't see anything that's as bad as the emerge in my opinion no Bio sound six was pretty fucking bad though that was a samsung really? collaborated uh mp3 player sure it's Especially since it didn't do pixels. anything else. It, just, it was... It, it was just an... Well, fuck, that was before iPhone was invented, bro. Like, you and had I, a fucking device for every activity, you know? And you I, listen I, to music, I, I must, you have that. I must say the Beo Sound 8, the one where you could put your iPhone on it with the two speakers, I think that looked terrible as well. We sold cool. fucking boatloads of that, yep. dude. Yeah. I can imagine, because that was boatloads. just at the end. That was actually... B&O was on par with it. Because they were like, oh, mm-hmm. everybody buys iPhone. We should make an iPhone soundbar. So they yeah. made, oh, we have a ghetto blaster look alike here, and put your dock your iPhone in it or iPad whatever, and uh, then everything and it charges just, it, and yeah, everybody's happy. It, yeah, it was and then you get a shape time, that's but, like. But I still hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you put your phone on it, you, you draw a little penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Then what? Just think of Skinny Player and what you can do with the shape of that. Yeah, I'm sure they can make you something custom, Eric. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh Lord. (laughs) Down the gutter we go again. Wait, but is it really better or worse than like the Bio Sound Five Encore? I mean, that looks pretty. No, that was I think the most. That was the worst product of its era. The Biosound Encore was a fucking disaster. Because they sold it as a as a integratable with Apple, but you had to buy this Bonjour service subscription to even make it work. So it it basically uh, Bonjour service uh, acts as a DLNA, so it could sniff out all of your Apple files, and then if you didn't have them in the MP3, were fucked. It's like it didn't read any Apple codec. Hmm. That thing was absolutely ridiculous. It was basically if compare, purely reliant uh, on a Bio Sound 5 and Bio Master 5 and its files. Uh, That's what it was reliant on. But if you compare the P2, the Bio Play P2 portable speaker with the mm. Portal now, the Portal is actually, uh, what was it called? Yeah, Portal, right? No. The Portals are what I have in my head right now. Yeah, yeah. The Explore. Explore. Yeah. So. In that case, I think the Explorer is way better than the P2. Especially I'm going to buy the Explorer one. anyways. I bought the P2, and first it was uh, stereo paired. You can do that. And the first update they did was just, nope, we don't allow that. I just, hey, dealer, I uh, don't want them anymore. And he was like, yeah, I understand. Because he sold them to me as they would be stereo paired. And stereo paired would Great, because I thought that would be easier to bring along with me than a big A1. But yeah, the A1 is <laughs> big <stupid> A1. Way... <laughs> How small are yeah, your hands that you say big A1? The P2, <laughs> the P2 in a bag is just nothing. They're just super. But the A1 is you know, like oh, oh. The A1 P2 is, is very slim. I like the, the P2, especially because you can. It has a gesture control, which I think they should have implemented on the A1, or uh, that when you tap on the grill, uh, you can play pause, right, on the P2. Yeah. So I think that should have it was, been. It was very portable, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna call it for tonight. Uh, if you haven't yet, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it helps us out a great deal. Uh, also, uh, go uh, subscribe to Henrik and Eric. Uh, links are down in the description. Uh, I we'll posted a s- video for once. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> you can get to see Eric's living room. <laughs> One nice. this year, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, will we be on Twitch tomorrow, Willie, or are you busy packing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, then. No, I'm uh, already packed. We're all good to go, man. Sweet. I'm, yeah, and I'm leaving Tuesday, so. Then uh, we'll see the other Do half of round. you guys uh, tomorrow on uh, Twitch. And uh, if not, have a good uh, week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.